These unmanned surface drones make up a new sensor net already being trialled by the US Navy in the Gulf and could prove a game changer. The net aims to provide total surveillance of what is going on under or in the skies over a vast area of the sea or ocean. Here's how it works. The sensor net is made up of more than 100 unmanned surface drones, supplemented by unmanned underwater vehicles and aerial drones that all form a 3D sensor grid. They're linked to each other and the headquarters. The vast amount of data sent back is analyzed by artificial intelligence software that looks for unusual patterns of movement. The technology may be mostly American, but the US Navy is involving its maritime partners. Well, we think the equation to, to increase our deterrence overall throughout the region has two components. It's a strengthening the partnerships throughout the region component, which we're working on quite vibrantly. The second part, then, is increasing the technology and the innovation. This is where the unmanned surface vessels come on. But the sensor net is in its infancy, and not all the partners on or around the Gulf cooperate in the way they need to to make the scheme effective. The problem that we have here is that the integration of all these different uh, uh, platforms across the GCC and then with the Americans is, is not something that is feasible because there is absolutely no data sharing at this point between GCC navies. GCC navies haven't really integrated, it's only integration on paper, and them sharing information is, uh, you know, is, is, doesn't seem to be a feasible thing. Regardless of the challenges, the technology allows the U.S. military to have a far more detailed picture of an ever-increasing area of sea or ocean right now. The United States Navy will be using aerial sensors like the Sky Guardian drone seen behind me, but the bulk of the array will be made up of unmanned surface and underwater vehicles that provide all the information, giving the U.S. Navy a total surveillance picture of the Gulf. And they say this is just the beginning. Alex Kotopoulos, Al Jazeera, Doha.